happy Valentine's Day! This is Bella. Hi Bella. My name's Courtney <laughs> and you're watching Vegan Food Court. Super excited today for Valentine's Day. We're actually going to be making vegan soft pretzels in the shape of hearts. This is a new recipe so hopefully it goes okay. Um, Bella's gonna be helping me out today, right? We got our matching pink shirts on today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's very sweet. So we're gonna get down to business. <laughs> okay, so our first step here is we actually have three tablespoons of white sugar. And then we actually have dry active yeast. It asks for one packet only, and this is pre-measured. So you just go ahead and pour that in there. And we're going to whisk all this together. Next, we are going to grab our water which is going to be warm water, not hot scalding water. I'm gonna just go ahead, pour that in. After you go ahead and pour the water in, you're just going to give it a little mix and then you're going to set to the side for 10 minutes and wait till it starts to bubble. If you feel like you're having a hard time with this step and you feel like your yeast is not bubbling, a few things could be wrong. It could be the yeast packet that you're using is actually old, so you need to get a new one or it could be that the water that you used is too hot. The temperature could really change things when it comes to making bread. It could also be that you're moving the bowl around too much. It's very temperamental. As much as we don't want to leave it alone, we have to just let it be. Right now you can see that the yeast has bubbled up, which is awesome. What I have over here actually is gonna be some all-purpose flour. We're just gonna go ahead and pour that right in. You also wanna keep your flour out because you're going to be using it when we're rolling out the dough. So don't forget to not put that away. I'm going to put some vegan butter in here as well. It's just a tablespoon, I think. Pour that right in. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix this all together until it forms somewhat of a dough ball. Our dough should be looking like this. It's not going to be together yet because we need to knead the dough next. So we're going to set this aside. Kneading is actually my favorite part. You just want to clear space. You want to flour your counter. Fun fact, the flour that sits on the side like that is called your bench flour for when you need it again. It's always good just to have a little bowl on the side. So we're gonna go ahead and just drop this on the counter. And we're gonna go ahead and start kneading the dough. Just keep going. What you're gonna wanna do is use, you look like a dough monster. You wanna use the palm of your hand and you're not going to push that hard. We're gonna lightly push like this and then we rotate. Then we flip over like this, and we're gonna do it again. Lightly push out. You don't want to abuse the dough. Be nice to the dough. Then we're going to fold again and push. Once you have your dough and you've been kneading it for a while, you're actually gonna go ahead. This is the dough test. Push your finger right here. If it comes back up, um, it is ready. Now that our bowl is buttered, we went ahead and put our dough in the middle. And then I just have a clean dishcloth to put on top. Now that it is ready, it's supposed to look like this. We're gonna put it in the oven because you wanna keep it in a warm space. I'm just gonna turn the light on and keep it in the oven for an hour. Five hours later. Voila! As you can see, the dough did double in size. So what we're supposed to do next is just kind of punch it. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and take this out. Now we have our eight different pieces. We're going to set some aside and we're going to start rolling out our first one. So 
for this step, we just had four cups of water get to a simmer. I'm gonna get one fourth cup of baking soda, pour it in here and it should bubble. Ooh, science experiment. The reason why we do this is because it gives the pretzels the brown shine. I'm gonna go ahead and set this in here. Five seconds, and then take it out. Set it on the tray. After you take it out, I think it'd be a good idea to automatically throw the salt on because it is very gooey at that point. All right, these are all the finished pretzels with the baking soda and water on them. I went ahead and put those pretzels in the oven. It should take about 12 to 15 minutes. And if I did it correctly, they should come out golden brown. Oh my gosh, look how amazing these things came out. And they're these perfect little hearts. I'm actually going to brush them with some melted butter. It just gives it a fun little shine too. Can't hurt. I just got some vegan butter. It's earth balance. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all of them. super happy with how these turned out. I put some salt on there, there's butter on there, but I'm a huge fan of the salty and sweet and I thought because it's Valentine's Day, might as well step it up a little bit. So what I did is I actually got some powdered sugar and I mixed it with some almond milk creamer, which this is the creamer that I used. And so we're going to go ahead and drizzle this on our pretzels and I just bought these cheap little sprinkles from Target. I'm just gonna go ahead and put those everywhere. Wow, look at these things. All right, everybody, it's all finished. It smells amazing in here. You guys have to try this recipe because it's delicious. I'm actually gonna go ahead and try the sweet one, even though I'm usually a salty person, but no. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I did an amazing job. <laughs> I'm just joking. That is so good. Oh my gosh. The sweet is actually amazing on here because it has that salty and sweet thing going on. The texture is amazing. I'm super happy with how these came out. Um, please look in the comments below for the full recipe. And yeah, thanks guys for watching and I hope you have a great Valentine's Day.